This is Dr. Lam welcoming you to our discussion on the stage 3A adrenal fatigue syndrome, early system dysfunction. There are four stages to adrenal fatigue syndrome, stages 1 through 4. Stages 1 and 2 are considered quite mild. As we enter stage 3, or the adrenal exhaustion stage, where there are four phases, things become more serious. There are eight common problems associated with this stage and signs and symptoms that we can see, and we'll go through them one by one. Metabolic system dysfunction is the first one. This is exemplified by a clinical or subclinical hypoglycemia. Number two, there's electrolyte dysregulation, and clinically we see low blood pressure or hypotension. Number three, there's dehydration and fluid imbalances. And in the clinical setting, we see a person that has a problem in postural hypotension, for example. Number four, there's a suboptimal detoxification from the liver that leads to low clearance and brain fog is one such example. Number five, there is a catabolic state that comes on at this time and the loss of body muscle mass can happen very gradually and started here. Number six, there's a neurological system dysfunction. And number seven, there's a hormonal system dysfunction with various hormones being dysregulated starting at this point from HPA axis being dysregulated. Finally, there's dysfunction of the immune mediated conditions and there are many that we will go through later. Now, how do you know you are in stage 3A? Now, this is a good question because most 3A symptoms tend to be quite mild. In fact, whether it's occasional brain fog, mild food sensitivities, intermittent hypoglycemia, a little bit of salt craving, a little bit of dizziness on the rising, they are invariably overlooked well past this stage and only become obvious in retrospect. That's why this phase can be so destructive to our overall health. Our central control has already been infiltrated by enemy forces, but the alarm bells, even though it has been rung, is usually ignored. Now, stage 3A usually goes on for many years and even decades. Extensive workup are invariably normal. But those who pay attention to their body know something is wrong. But they remain entwined in a cognitive dissonance as they are told that all is well by their doctor. But they know inside that something is wrong. Now, if stage 3A is not reversed, then continued deterioration is the natural progression. Because hormones access are the main conduits of maintaining internal well-being, these axes start to lose their integrity as we move forward and as AFS advances through the later phases of adrenal exhaustion. So in summary, you can see that as adrenal fatigue progresses, the early clinical signs of organ system dysfunctions becomes evident and this happens in stage 3A. This is usually when the patients or the clients go to see their doctors for the first time. Now symptoms of stage 3A are closely associated with HPA axis dysregulation. Metabolic system dysfunction and imbalances leads to the onset of mild hypoglycemia. Low blood pressure and salt craving reflect aldosterone deficiency. Both are signs of HPA axis dysregulation. Dysfunction in to detoxification pathways, primarily in the liver, leads to a low clearance stage and causing numerous symptoms from brain fog to hypoglycemia. Musculoskeletal system dysfunction leads to onset of joint and muscular pain of unknown origin as the body enters a catabolic state. Neurological system dysfunction leads to worsening insomnia, tremor, anxiety, and depression. Hormonal system dysfunctions and imbalances lead to an onset of subclinical hypothyroidism, PCOS, PMS, and endometriosis. Immune system dysfunction leads to recurrent infection and yeast overgrowth with exaggerated autoimmune responses. The body is basically losing its ability to perform normally, but the symptoms are so mild they are invariably overlooked. The astute clinicians, however, will be able to spot and detect these various mild signs and symptoms and put the big picture together. If you have a patient that has these type of symptoms in a setting of stress, then adrenal fatigue syndrome must be considered.